Good afternoon. Good afternoon once again. Happy weekend to everyone. Good afternoon. You are welcome on board. Good afternoon. Thank you, my precious sister, Oya B. Thank you, Vera Mandela. Thank you, Sister IT. Thank you, Sister Crystal Bell, the Queen. Thank you. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you, my admin. The admin of Transafe 360, thank you on board. Thank you, Sister Christabel. Thank you, Sister Day Queen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Becky Ozigo. I'll be I'll be I'll be starting in the next a minute. In the next one minute, I'll be starting. I just want us to have people. Please share. You can help us to share this video. Today's topic is going to be an interesting one also. Good afternoon, Sister Christabel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please help us to share, 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 invite friends, invite friends, invite friends, invite friends, invite friends to join us on board, invite friends to join us on board, invite friends to join us on board. Uh, if you are looking for a customized face mask, I think my sister here on board is designing a first special one, just very cheap, five euros, very cheap. You're going to an occasion and you need your attire to have the same fixed marks. I think it's on board also here. So, in the next 20 seconds, I'll be starting. The next 20 seconds. Help us to share. Help us to share, Brother Christina, you're welcome on board. Brother Christian, you're welcome on board. Thank you, Sister Diola, thank you for coming on board. We'll be starting in the next 20 seconds. Please help us to share, share with friends, invite friends. Oh, good afternoon once again. Uh, today's topic, uh, you're welcome on board, my brother, brother Sam. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Now, so, uh, today I'll be taking a special topic, and I will need to let us understand the way it's going to go today. Remember, uh, uh, today we are going to take one of the topic in our road safety for you to be able to acquire your driver's license in Europe. And I'm going to talk about a topic that is called the transportation of people and load. Transportation of people and load. And 
most time when you go to the exam questions comes out of, from this direction and on this topic today i'm going to tell us some of the likely questions that comes up on this area and how you can tackle them remember that the purpose of this video is to help all the english speaking people here in europe in order to acquire their driver's license operation get your license is what we are doing this year 2020 i'm contributing my own quota to see how a lot of people can get theirs on their facebook that is why this platform is it's free for everyone but if you feel like joining us to be a student we have another online class where we follow up every student and it's just with a few a small money and we get the material posted to you wherever you're staying if you're staying outskirt of states or you are staying outside of the country we can post your material to you and you come down in spain to do your exam and it's possible it's possible and again i'm going to tell us that it is not right for you to pay someone to do exam for you it is not right for you to pay someone money to do exam for you it is very very risky and it is not right according to the law so i will encourage us that you can do it you can do it if you join us every saturday one o'clock it is possible it is possible even though you cannot read and write follow us up with time you might not be at the same pace with the person who knows how to read and write but what i want to encourage you is that a lot of people have gone have they've been through us for years and they cannot read and write and it takes them months takes them days and they are able to get it today so what i'm trying to tell you is that don't pay someone to do it for you it is not right we are in the western world where every record counts every record counts 10 years ago there are some people that takes this country careless carelessly and today they are regretting it but uh, to god be the glory you don't have to fall as a victim learn from people and majority make mo most time most black most especially nigeria they don't tell us the right thing on the roadway on the sign on the street on the shop you cannot get a good report if you see anybody outside that tells you line says you don't need it don't stress yourself that person does not want the progress in you you have to understand that after your document it is important to have Lines. I was educating someone two days ago. I said, look, even though you've not gotten your line, your resident, since you know you get it, start looking for how to possess a license because it's very, very important. It's very, very important. Voice is repeating. It's very, very important. So is my voice is repeating. Is okay now. Okay. So so it's very very important for us to understand that it is it is mandatory now for you to have license now we are on on board on facebook tell your friends if you're living our skates outside of the state call them in and let them get our video spread our video and again today even in the course of this lecture if you have any question generally apart from even the topic we are teaching today type it or you call 620-586-038 you can call direct or you call through whatsapp don't call this number the other office number which i use the word like i want you can call the line line which i am pasting on this place which is 620-586-038 help us to share help us to share with your with your followers on your facebook so that people can can benefit from this video the purpose is that help someone help someone we want to touch him as many lives as possible this is the year you must have your license you must have it even though if you cannot join us on our own platform as a school you can be able to even get it free of charge online with the little we can offer we might not be able to offer you everything but at least we'll offer maybe 15 percent of the whole of the whole lecture which you can have if you follow us every saturday on this platform and again i remain steve by name and i'm a uh, road safety expert and automobile technician and i want to tell you today that today we are going to take a topic which is on thank you sister becky we are on, on a topic which is transporting of people and load and this topic is going to be grouped into two you know we're going to talk about how you transport people and how you transport load also on the on the platform remember the number is placed there if you have any question in today course of class i might entertain question in the process that people will not forget you can type your question also on the platform and you can also also tell us that uh you can call us on phone if you don't have direct line you can call us on whatsapp from any country where you're watching you can be able to acquire uh what you need to and if you if you've gotten experience in exam before and you want to share with us uh the board is welcome the platform is welcome for you to call and share your experience with someone or if you have any question you've encountered in your study at home and you feel that we can answer 
I will be able to do that for you. Let me let you understand that every question in exam here, I understand them and I've been to them and I know them. So I will be able to strict on more likely things which we're going to have in exam so today and today again if you will put question on board and you are able to get it i'm going to throw like three questions i have gift a book gift for people as many people that will be interested that will be able to answer our question on the platform today before we close down this this today's lecture if you get our question you you win yourself a book a study book in spanish why are we giving Spanish? Because here we are teaching English, and if I'm giving you the English, it's not, it's not so right. So I'm giving it Spanish. If you don't need it, you can give a neighbor. Knock the door of your neighbor and just say, I bless you with this, and the neighbor will be happy to see that because many of the Spanish people too don't have license, so we have to encourage them also. So today I'm going to teach a topic on transporting of people. How did you transport people? When we're talking about people, we are talking about the passengers and the driver in the vehicle. The passengers and the drivers in the vehicle. Now, how did I how did I transport people? I transport as many number as seat belts according to the seat belt number in the vehicle. Let me just key the theory in that way. As many seat belts in the vehicle determine how many people should be in the car. Now, for example, when you're having a car that has six seaters, you're having a car that has six seaters. In this car, if you have six seaters or you have a car that is have five seaters including the driver which means the driver the co-pilot and the three people at the at the are behind which means this vehicle is meant for vehicles that carries five seaters only including the driver so you'll be having six five seat belts in that vehicle so what you need to understand here is this is that when you have the five seaters in the belt you need five person has to be there. the head counts whether is a child or is an adult many people sometimes they will tell you that oh a child i can put it on the lap and carry no a child acquire a seat if that child is not up to the normal height i'm going to teach you today how you will discover the kind of the the, the kind of placement you're going to place the person why did we place that person that way you're going to understand in today's lecture but today i'm going to explain this to you again in exam they can give you you know i there was a time i explained to us here that what is a car if a question comes in exam what is a car people picture a car as a as a five-seater including the driver no a car is not five-seater. A car is any vehicle that is meant to transport people that is not more than nine person, including the driver. That is not more than nine person. Because why? Because there are some cars which are vehicle that can carry nine. So nine including the driver. So when you're carrying more than nine, it's no more a, a, a car. It becomes a, a, a bus. So in that case, you should recall, you should understand that most of those things that the churches here in Spain, they are using and they call the church bus. It's not a boss. That is why many people go to exam and they fail. That thing is not a boss because that thing is meant to carry eight passengers plus the driver making nine. So when you're carrying more than nine with you, it means that you are doing what we call excessive number of passenger, excessive number of person in that vehicle, which is not which is not right, even though you are carrying baby. So when a woman comes with a baby, it means that there are two already. So you have to understand that it counts per head. Now, how do we go? The responsibility of passengers in that vehicle when they are over excess in the car is the driver. So when you carry an excessive people in the vehicle it means that you're going to be sanctioned as a driver the only theory or law that says a, a passenger can be sanctioned is when the passenger is not putting on the seat belt but when that passenger is less than is a, is a kind of is a minor is a minor which which means it's less than 18 years the driver will be sanctioned for it or the parent in the vehicle will be sanctioned for it so how did i transport people you know people have been asking on this platform or platform asking about age 12 years of age uh seven years of age what i want to shock you today is that it's not the age issue age has to do with what we call minor Minor. When you are 12 years downward, it has to be minor, is a minor. But something you have to think of is the height. Height. That is why you have some child that are even 12 years of age and you see them they have a height like an adult. Why do they put on a seat restraint system? The seat restraint system is that I don't I don't want to call it baby seat. Many people call it baby seat, but it's not a baby because some adult uses it. I don't want to mention because it's a public platform name. You understand me, which I can do in my class. If you have people that are dwarf that are not 
not up to 135, 135 centimeter height. I repeat, if you are not up to 135 centimeter height, which is 135 centimeter height, that person must use a seat restraint system. A seat restraint system that is homogulated. Homogulated means that is authorized by the government. Authorized according to the height and according to the weight. In exam, if you're asked, how do you choose your or seat restraint system? You choose it according to the height or according to the weight, the weight of the person. Because that is why when you have a child that is five years, when the child goes to nine years, you have to change it because the weight is different. That thing when you are buying it is according to weight. Many people don't even know they just pick one and use for their baby from the gay, gay, uh, year one up to even. 12 years of stuff now what are we saying what we are saying is that you that when you are less than 135 even though you are 40 years old you must use a seat restraint system why did we use seat restraint system is because so that the seat belt can be able to hold you firm on the seat because if the seat belt is not holding you right it means that you will submarine what is submarine submarine is going under the seat belt when you press brake you realize that the person is tend to come out under the belt so it means submarine exam the hacks what is submarine effect submarine effect is going under the seat belt when you are not well hold when, when you are not having a good holding system on you now when the person is in between 135 centimeter to 150 it means that is in between 135 to 150 that person might use seat belt or might use the holding system which is the receipt restraint system you have option to choose the two but when you are above 150 150 like the way most of us are you have right to use the seat belt direct that is why when you enter a vehicle and you realize that your height is 150 already you just you don't bother you just put on seat belt but when you are in between 135 to 150 you might use the seat train system or you use the seat belt direct but if you're less than 150 or you're less than 135 centimeter you have to understand that it is compulsory mandatory for you to use the seat restraint system so if you're carrying someone in your vehicle and the person is less than 135 centimeter you must allow the person to use the seat restraint system and again remember that when you are carrying a mixed vehicle what is a mixed vehicle a mixed vehicle is a vehicle that can carry load and carry people simultaneously or differently when you're carrying people you should understand the number of seat belts in that vehicle if you have uh, seats with the co-pilot at the, at the front if the seat is only one one person has to sit if it's two people two people are permitted so you don't carry more than the exceed number nobody stands in a car without a seat belt repeat nobody stands in a car without a seat belt so according to the number of seat belts in a vehicle determine how many people has to be in that vehicle now when we talk about the two-wheel vehicle two-wheel vehicle are motorcycle the skoda which is the mope or the, the bicycle remember that if you're carrying a passenger behind on the bicycle or any two-wheel vehicle you must be the parent the guardian or the tutor a tutor might be authorized from from the parent so if you are not in this three you don't have right to carry the the the, the 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 passenger even when the passenger is less than seven years or less than 12 years and as as a child so i repeat for the benefit of people that are joining us what we are doing is that we are taking uh every saturday we use this platform to help as much as people uh that will that will want to acquire their driver's license in spain so we are teaching a topic today which is transporting of people and goods another name for goods is merchandise we as we know in exam and on this platform we're going to explain the likely question you might meet in exam and we're going to welcome questions for as many thank you sister Olori, for joining me my dear sister you're welcome on board so and my honorable Ola today you're welcome on board sir so is this 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 area you have to understand that it is very important for you to get this clear now what are we saying? What we are saying is that two-wheel vehicle, when you are carrying a passenger, you must understand that it is compulsory also to put on a safety gadget which protects your chronic area. The chronic area is the head, which means you have to put on helmet. And remember, the helmet must be authorized. The helmet must be authorized. Why is it authorized? It has to be the one that is homogulated by the government, which you can't just put on a helmet that during accident you incur another injury, which is not even uh, good for you as 
as as a driver or as a passenger on it so if you're mounting a two-wheel vehicle you should understand that it is important for you to be on helmets because when you fall or you have an accident the first impact will come on the head and that is why in exam they said when you experience an accident on a two-wheel vehicle which part of the body will feel the most accident they said a the chronic area c the hand so b the leg so you have to understand the chronic area is the head because it's the head that will hit ground so that was why it is important for you to put on the helmet now we talk about the load when you are transporting load you should understand that another name for load is merchandise or goods in exam some word can come out as good they said good they mentioned good you should understand they are talking about load when they've said merchandise they are talking about load so in exam you should understand that this how did i transport load i have to transport load in a way that i will think of the stability of my vehicle stability of my vehicle my vehicle should be positioned rightly. I should think of the fuel consumption, the fuel consumption, because if I have too much load in the vehicle that weighs more than the maximum authorized mass for that vehicle, I will use more fuel than the necessary. I should think of the acceleration because the acceleration will increase when I do too much load in my vehicle. I will need to pedal more and I will need to consume more fuel. I should think of the stopping distance. Stopping distance is a distance that whenever I press brake, the distance I cover from the moment I press brake until the car stops. So if i have too much load on me i have too long longer increase in the this in, in in the in the in the braking distance or the stopping distance as general now if you're carrying load you have to think of the excessive weight of that load you must make sure that you don't carry too much weight in that vehicle you must make sure you don't carry too much weight in the vehicle sorry don't carry too much weight in the vehicle. So another thing which you have to understand here is this. Sorry. Sorry. You have to understand that you 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 need to you need to think of that the load shouldn't make noise when you are driving when you are driving when you're carrying a load when you're carrying a load think that the load should not make noise put it in a way that it shouldn't make noise think of it that it shouldn't dust out because most time when people carry a kind of sand or a kind of newspaper wasted paper or wasted material they need to cover it with a net or cover it with something that will make it not to when you want not to not to dust out when you're driving on the public highway you should make sure that they don't fall protect them that they don't fall they don't protect them that they don't move anyhow in the vehicle they should not eat your lightning system don't allow the load to block your lightning system so that when you are braking the vehicle behind will be able to know that you are doing the braking and be careful don't compromise with your stability what is the stability i'm going to explain in today's course of of study and remember that when you are carrying out loading and unloading in exam this question comes so much that uh, when they talk about loading and unloading unloading loading and unloading operation is loading off your vehicle loading your vehicle with low merchandise or taking out your load from the merchandise and when you're doing that you do it from the vehicle down to the destination not to put it on the road in it is against the law that you put load on the roadway or on the paveway or on the pavement or pedestrian zone where pedestrian uses you have to carry the load directly from the your vehicle into the house or into the shop where you are where, where you are where you are dropping the load or you are you are loading you are putting up on, on your load now in that area you should respect the order of parking and stopping in that vicinity because where there's no parking and stopping it's not right for you to park there and start off loading respect Pet that you don't make noise when you are offloading and make sure that anytime you are offloading you offload directly from the side closest to the cab not on the side where people can do the overtaking now how did i distribute load i distribute load in a three in a four ways four places you understand this way very well now how did i place load placement of load can is permitted in four areas in the boot on the on the back seat on in the trailer and on the roof rack in the boots according to the boots the boots is the major place is the most important place is the place reserved for load as we understand but when you are putting load in the boots the load has to be closed you know africa where we come from when you see people putting load in that boot they cover it and they tie it and the load protrude hard from the boot no here in western world it is against the law for you to have load 
protruding out of your uh, of the of the boots. So it is it is very important for you to have load in the boots. And when you're putting load in the boots, uh, be careful because placing the load has to be evenly. It has to be maybe you you make sure that you balance the weights. Just don't put don't put all the weight on one side so that when you are negotiating a bend, your centrifugal force will not increase. Because when you place the load on one side, negotiating any bend will make you to have what we call a force that will push you out of the center of the roadway. So in that case, place your load in an even way whereby the the vehicle will be balanced and the stability of the vehicle will be uh, right one and when you're placing on the back seat remember that the back seat when you're placing load make sure that that load is well secured it is proper you put it on the gun on the floor on the back seat so that when you press brake the load will not just come and hit you up because you have to be very careful so that that load when you press brake it won't hit you from the back because hitting a driver from the back unknowingly can make him to give up an, an accident so don't just put load at the back seat without having it secure in your vehicle and the third one is the trailer the trailer what is the trailer the trailer is called remorque in spanish is what you haul what you hold what you have to hang behind your vehicle to tow trailer is not lorry many people goes to the exam and they fail the exam because when they're asking of trailer they think of lorry you know the mentality we have in africa is trailer is lorry trailer is not lorry trailer is that uh, um, the attachment you have behind the attachment you have behind and when you are hanging it to your vehicle be careful when you put load remember that when the load is not up to 750 it is considered as a light trailer a light trailer but when the load is more than 750 the load the trailer is a trailer or a semi-trailer when it's resting on the tractive units now what are we trying to say what we're trying to say here is that when you put load in a trailer that load going above the vehicle that is towing it means that you will have what we call a an opposition on the aerodynamic flow of air on the vehicle which means it will increase it will cost increase in your your break your, your your fuel consumption your fuel consumption will increase so much because you are having something that blocks you here so in that case you should be very, very careful when you are having a load above the vehicle which is towing it now the last one is the roof rack which is the fourth side now when you're having a roof rack on your vehicle you should realize that the roof rack becomes a gadget which is positioned on top of your vehicle that is most vague most of this uh total terranin this all this law or all this uh jeep they call jeep in nigeria the four-wheel drive most day most time they have this gadget on top of their car whereby you need to like if you want to put anything on top you have to tie it to eat that thing is called a roof rack when that thing is on your vehicle and you are not using it it causes increase in consumption many people don't know that is why in exam it comes as a question that if you have this if you have this oh my brother brother maker you're welcome on board that's one of my old students now he's driving he's a professional driver in sweden he passed driver's license here in spain he happens to be my student i think nine years ago and he has is is a professional driver in Sweden with a truck now. Thank you for coming on board, Bremeka. Thank you very much. So what we're saying here is this: you have to understand that you having that roof rack on you. If you don't remove it when you are not using it, your fuel consumption will increase. You might not notice, but it's increasing. And when you now have load on it, you place load on it. Make sure that that load is well secure. And remember that the fuel consumption will increase more. In exam, be careful. The only question they ask from this direction is that. If you have roof rack without load, does it affect your fuel consumption? Yes. Know that it affects your fuel consumption when you don't even have load on it. It's a trick. When you don't have load on it, people think it, does, it has nothing to do. Anything you do that will modify the vehicle causes increase in consumption. Let me just tell you this. Note this in exam. When you're going to the exam, have this mindset that any design you do on your vehicle that is not according to the manufacturer causes increase in consumption of fuel so i've explained it i've explained the placement of load in the vehicle which is four i said we can place load in the boots we put it on in the in the car inside the car we can put it in the trailer and we can put it on the roof rack in this case and remember that a two-wheel vehicle like motorcycle like your bicycle uh, like your like your like your mope like your Skoda, they can tow a trailer. That seems that 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 this word seems uh, amazing. Now, in exam, they ask you, can your bicycle tow a trailer? Yes. 
whatever is hanged behind, whatever you hooked behind becomes a trailer. You're welcome on board. Oh, you're welcome, sister Precious. You're welcome on board. Thank you, my sister. Uh, so whatever you whatever you tow behind your bicycle, with you tow behind, you hang behind your vehicle becomes a trailer. And remember when you are towing with two-wheel vehicle, you should remember that that trailer behind is 50%, should be 50% of the man of the of the towing vehicle that is of the tractive units if your bicycle for example if your bicycle is 10 kilo that means what you can tow behind shouldn't be more than 50 percent of the 10 kilo which is which is five kilo to us so in this in this in this in this in this area you have to understand that if it comes in exam that can you tow a bicycle yes in in what way it shouldn't be more than the 50 percent of that weight of the bicycle that is towing it good now that is it another thing which you have to understand is you have to do that towing if you're towing with with two-wheel vehicle it must be done during the day in a well lit area during the day not at night not in a poor visibility because you don't have a brake light behind something to shell or you don't have a kind of position light that will tell me that you're towing something so it has to be done during the day and again you should remember that outside town your generic speed which i'm going to talk about next week saturday speed limit the generic speed should be less than 10 percent less than 10 percent not less than 10 kilometer less than 10 percent now how the load protrude load protruding out of your vehicle now we have vehicles that are designed to carry load that has to protrude which we know that they are called goods vehicle what are goods vehicle goods vehicle are lorry and van good vehicle are lorry and van and when you have lorry and van you have right for the load to protrude from the front and you have right for the load to protrude from the back let me explain something to you assuming this is a lorry now i have right to put something on top of the lorry where the load will come out from the front the load can come out from the front and the load can come out from the back as a lorry or van which are good vehicle but as an exceptional cases you can use your vehicle that is you are permitted exceptionally in exceptional cases where you want to use your car to carry load for example i want to carry a pole which i cannot fold i cannot fold and i put that load on top of my car note that your vehicle does not load is not permitted to go above or be the a bit uh, above the front of your vehicle the load cannot protrude beyond the front of your vehicle the load cannot protrude beyond the front of your vehicle that's what we are saying now but behind load can come out from behind that is why when you notice here in spain most people that that goes around to to put phone internet in your house they come with a ladder and that ladder load doesn't come out beyond the plate number the front plate number somebody might might be asking me where is the front of the car the front of the car is not the bonnet the front of the car is not the windscreen the front of the car is the plate number so the load must not come out beyond the front of the plate number that is why when police stop them on the roadway what police does is that they put a stick to check the front of the plate number you're welcome you're welcome mr kennedy you're welcome sir you're welcome on board so i help us to share it in girona i've been calling you to tell you that many of your students over there needs to come on board thank you very much help us to share it on your platform so that your people can benefit i cannot be able to travel to girona for now so please share it and let them benefit from it sir i've been calling you i told him location you didn't give call back so what we are saying now is that the load can protrude from the from the from the front of the vehicle and the load the load cannot protrude from the front of your vehicle but the load can protrude from the back and we have two type of load when it comes to your private car loading a load on it you have load that are divisible and we have load that are indivisible divisible load are load which i can fold like bicycle when you have a divisible load it means that that load can only protrude 10 percent of the length of your vehicle 10 percent of the length of if your vehicle is 10 meters length it means that 10 percent of 10 is one so one meter can protrude behind but at the front no 
if the load is indivisible, I cannot fold it. Like now, I'm having my bed. I want to carry my bed. I can't fold bed. So if I put it on top of my car, the load, the load can come out behind. Since it's indivisible, I have 15% that of the length of the car that can protrude behind. But at the front, no. I repeat, we have two load. We have divisible and indivisible. Divisible load is 10%. Indivisible is 15%. That is exceptional rule when you are using your vehicle to carry load that can protrude. But when you have vehicles that are designed for load, which are lorry and van, which are called goods vehicle. Now, what is the good vehicle? As I told you, good vehicle, they have right for you to have the load at the front and for you to have load behind. But goods vehicle are grouped into two. Good vehicles are grouped into two. In what way? Good vehicle are the one that are less than five meters. One, the one that are above five meters. So some lorry are less than five meters long, and some lorry are above five meters. When you are less than five meters, less than five meters, that is four meters, three meters, two meters. That is your lorry or your van. Load that can protrude from the front is one third one third one over three one third of the load of the length of that vehicle can protrude from the front one third can protrude from the back i repeat when you have a lorry or van that is less than five meters long one third of that length can protrude from the front and one third of that length can protrude from the back good now but when you have a lorry or van that are more than five meters long, whether five, six, seven, eight, nine, up to 18 in length, the load that can protrude from the front shouldn't be more than two meters. And the load that can protrude from the back shouldn't be more than three meters. I repeat, a lorry or van that is more than five meters, load that can protrude from the front shouldn't be more than two meters. Load that can protrude from the back shouldn't be more than three meters. So two meters at the front, three meters at the back for lorry that are more than five meters for lorry that are less than five meters we have one third at the front and one third at the behind but let me tell you this if you have vehicle that are less than one meters one meters in length one meters wide load like motorcycle for example motorcycle remember that i told you load cannot go beyond the front the tire at the front but load can come out at the back when load are coming out from the back, 0.25. When load are coming from the both side, 0.50 on both sides. That is the motorcycle or any two-wheel vehicle that are less than. But remember that we have to signal the protruding load for safety. During the day, I only need what we call a protruding panel. Red, they buy it in most of the criteria, protruding panel. Protruding panel should be placed behind, behind. Now, if the load protein panel comes behind, you have to just place it. You know, in Africa, where we, where we came from, we put red and catch if most time when load comes out from behind. So, but here in abroad, we don't permit that red and catch if because there's a panel that is meant for it, which that panel is called V20. It's a protein panel which is meant to be used when you are carrying a load that protrudes during the day. But at night or any reduced visibility, you must have the load with the protruding panel. You must add a red light behind and a white light at the front. I repeat, during a reduced visibility, maybe at night, you should have a white light at the front and a red light behind with the protruding panel. But during the day, only the panel. Be careful in exam because question comes here in exam. When they will be asking in exam, they will be asking when they ask about the day. Notice that you only answer with protruding panel alone. When they ask at night, panel with the lights. Note that it is impossible for you to have white light at the back. It's against the law. All the light at the back should be red. The only remember in the lightning system when I was teaching some times ago, I told us that the light is the only white light behind is the brake light. So, if you having white light behind, it is against the ethics of the automobile. So, we go forward by talking about the maximum dimension, the maximum vehicle dimension. We have the maximum height. It comes in exam. What is the maximum height of a vehicle? Four meters. 
four meters why because most of our bridge we have 5.3 5.5 so if you go beyond the the maximum height it means that you are transporting what we call a special transport and you must take an authority to be able to use that on a public road because if you spoil a bridge you pass under a bridge that is more than or that you are above and you hit that bridge remember that <laughs> that company can be ruined because it becomes a case that is so big so in that case when you are going beyond you are carrying beyond four meters you must you become a special vehicle which you need to take uh, a kind of license authority to drive that kind of vehicle here now the, i said the maximum height in exam is what four meters the maximum width is 2.55, 2.55. Any of the two comes in the exam, what is the maximum width of a vehicle? 255. So when you are more than 255, load cannot protrude out on the side. Now, when you are above 140, 40, uh, sorry, 4 meters, load should not be placed unless you are doing what we call a kind of urban bus or a kind of vehicle that are meant to transport uh, superstructure. We call it superstructure like those prison conditional vehicles. They can go beyond that in width or in height because they are doing what we call a special service on the roadway. Remember that when we talk about public service, public service has what we call some kind of revolving lights. Public service, uh, the, the public walk uh, on the roadway, the vehicle that are special vehicle, they have some kind of revolving light on them. And that kind of light does not give them priority. It only shows they are present on the roadway. That light you are calling, you are seeing is called V2. V2. V2 light. It's a V2 sign because it does not give priority. It's only telling me they are present on the roadway. For example, here, those trucks that carry those bin at night, when you see them, you see the revolving light. It does not give them priority. Only tells me that they are present on the road, which means I have to help facilitate and assist in that way. Remember that that light should be visible in 100 meters for me to be able to see. And remember that the special vehicle, as I told us before, the maximum speed of a special vehicle is still the 40, which we, we are aware. And when they are able to use the highway, which means they are able to attain 60, their maximum speed becomes 70 on that kind of road. And we have to be very careful when we are using them on the road. On the road so in that case i have to i i i think uh that is everything about the transport and load transport of people and load any questions from everyone anyone on the on the platform thank you madam salami on board thank you everybody thank you for coming on board please any question generally you are free to call in on like on whatsapp or direct call 620-586-038 any question generally or any question or you have experience in the exam so far and you feel you need to share with people please you can call in now you can call in you can call in to let's educate ourselves if you have any question any question you study and you have any question from from the board you can you can you can let 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 us know let us know type it on board online or you you can call you can call in direct call or the whatsapp call i'm here to to answer your question please we'll be having like 15 minutes to share ideas on question likely question in exam i'll be throwing my my question also if you get my question the first to call in the first to call in on 620-586 will win a book a spanish driver's license book a spanish driver's license book that is complete for you to pass in spanish free of charge free of charge free of charge so uh any question from anyone any question from the house any question i'm waiting for question for us question from us question from anyone question from anyone i'll be waiting we have 15 minutes to share to share question we have 15 minutes to share question please if you're having question any question any question i'll be coming up with sister jane you're welcome on board thank you man any question any question i'll be throwing my question and you'll be having
any question please we can call in please can somebody help me to paste the number 620-586 on board uh, I'm waiting for any question any question from us any question from the house any question uh, let me let me use this opportunity to throw my own question if you win if you answer the question by calling in or you paste it so fast on the page you will win yourself a book a book a actualized book for the test the whole test in exam which will help you but is in spanish i'm not giving english on the platform this platform because this is an english platform so uh, you win yourself an english and spanish spanish book from me so my question is this how many mirror must a motorcycle have how many mirror must a motorcycle have a question comes up from sister biodun said fuel consumption is less when driving in which year good when you use gear appropriately you have a less consumption of fuel you don't allow the gear to make noise before you change it you use gear you change gear earlier there's no gear that cannot cause increase in consumption when it's not well used for example if i'm driving i use gr1 only to pick up the car i don't use gr1 to drive because when you use gr1 to drive it begins to make noise and when it makes noise it becomes a problem you use more fuel so you change gear often we you we have what we call a, a revolution gauge in in petrol the way you drive in petrol engine is not the way you drive in diesel engine most time that's why when you take um uh, vehicle to vehicle to nigeria you and it's diesel you realize that before many people they drive the diesel and they run off the engine why because they don't understand that you change gear earlier in diesel and most time in africa we listen to sound before we change gear but here you change gear according to the revolution gauge in petrol engine when the revolution gauge if it's up to 2000 2005 you change your gear that is why somebody who does not drive in africa get license easily than the somebody who has been driving for years because the person who has been driving for years in africa they don't drive car they move car there's difference between moving car and driving car driving car is the normality of you understanding the te technicality and the safety measures on the roadway the safety measure how to save fuel driving economically that those are the those are those are the ways a caller let me receive a caller uh good afternoon good afternoon we lost the caller please you can call back so so that is it so the you change your gear earlier you change your gear earlier. that's why if your car is automatic also you have to be very, very careful listening to the sound if you realize that one gear is not changing call for the attention of the mechanic most time it might be because of the the the, the one of the one of the uh, the pad in the gear bus is spoiled or because of the uh, the oil has loses its density so you have to like change the oil or, or visit the mechanic for them to be able to see what happens to the to the automatic uh gear box for you oh a caller please if you're calling in you have to lower the video so that it's the echo uh good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon sir good afternoon madam please uh are you here to answer our question or you want to give us a question yes and i'm here to answer the question you say how many mirrors does the motorcycle have how many mirrors does the motorcycle have explain okay sir a motorcycle has one mirror but if the car speed is more than 100, it will have to. I will repeat that place. Repeat that place, ma. A motorcycle have a one mirror, sir. A motorcycle. But if the car speed, if, if, if the speed of the motorcycle is more than 100 speedometer, it will be two. It will be two what she's saying is that if the motorcycle has a top speed that is less than 100 is one abby 
Yes, sir. So on what side of the of the motorcycle would that one be placed? On the left hand side. On the left hand side. Let me let me the very very complete answer. She said a motorcycle that is less than uh, 100 meter 100 kilometer per hour must have one mirror and on the left hand side. But when the motorcycle can do more than 100 kilometer per hour, it must possess two left and right. Very good, uh, sister. You won another book which is Spanish, second book you won last week, and you are having two books with us now. Thank you very much for always being there. Thank you very much. Any other question? Do you have any question for us? Or? Well, I know, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. So we are still on the book. I'm giving out 10 books today and somebody has won the first one and we're talking about the driver's license here. So if you the, he got the question, he said the, the motorcycle can have two mirrors, one on the left and the one on the right when it's more than 100 kilometers per hour. But when the motorcycle is less than 100 kilometers per hour, it possesses one on the left side. So people that have been posting two, one, uh, you are not getting it right. Uh, thank you. Thank you, my family from Norway. Thank you very much for joining me online so love you so much thank you very much ma'am so uh, another question say can an excess load on the car affect the proper functioning of the tire yes it will make the tire to worn out when you have too much load in your vehicle automatically you will have your vehicle tire be worn out faster you will get the tire warning out faster. You remember that you have instability on your vehicle when you have too much load. So when you have too much load on your vehicle, that is why sometimes when you send buses to Africa for transportation, you realize that they have too much load that is more than the maximum authorized mass of that vehicle and they change tire often. Why? Because they have too much load on that vehicle. And when you have too much load on the vehicle, the two things that suffer it much is the suspension, the tire, and the engine because the engine is dragging the weights and the tire is mounted with weights so it's running out more any other question from anybody and you can call in on whatsapp 620-586-038 or uh, i go for my second question from us second question second question second question second question Second question, can you explain where the seat belt stripe passes? Seat belt, the seat belt, you know, we have to, we have the, the, two, the seat belt passes two area. Many people does not know. People thought it's only one side. Can you explain how the stripes of the seat belt is being, is being fastened? That is what I'm trying to say. If you, if you understand that you can, you can, if you have the first person that puts the answer rightly, or you call in, the number is still 620-586-038. There's a likely question in the exam, and they've been a, and we are using it to explain more things that I can come out in exam in that area. So if you know that, that's the one question. If you can call in or you you write on the on the on the platform. If your answer is right, I will help you to put it right. If is if is if it's well, you win. You win yourself another book, another interesting book in Spanish from us. From us. So, so uh, I said, how the belt? You know, when you fasten a belt, it passes through. It passes through something, whether right the head or the hair or it passes through here i don't know so if you can explain to us where does the seat belt stripes passes through that is one question from us across the body and below the belly across the body and the below the belly we know that it passes through across the body and below the belly there are, there's a term you have to use when you are talking about that area when you're talking about that area there's a term you have to use there's a term you have to there's a particular place where the seat belt passes through there's a particular place where the seat belt passes through the seat belt passes through so you have to like get the where the seat belt passes through i said when you fasten a seat belt it passes through somewhere if you can explain, you can call in 620-586-038 is on the platform. You're welcome, my brother, Brad Jerry. You're welcome on board, sir. God bless you, sir. So, uh, you have to understand where the two seatbelts, I know it's passing.
passes through the body and the leg. Another caller. Let's see another caller. Uh, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, please, is that, this is not the number that they are using to answer the question. Ah, uh, yes, this is the number you can use to answer the question, sir. Uh, but uh, I see surprise because you are not the one that is. Uh, what am I going to say? Ask, ask a question about the the seatbelt. Yes. Oh, uh, you want to ask question or you want to answer my question, sir? Okay, answer it, sir. You have one minute, sir. Okay, sir. The like the sick bed, it, it will pass through your your shoulder. Your shoulder, chest, your your um, chest. Uh huh. And and uh, uh, the down belly. The down belly. What the is down, the down? The down the, the down uh, domain. That is uh, the down domain. That is under your where the uh, normal where we normally wear uh, our bed. That is the pelvic. That is the that is the pelvic. Very good, very yeah. good. But I was. What's yeah. your name? You won yourself uh, our book. You won yourself our book in Spanish. What is your name, sir? So that I can note it down. Robert is my name, please. I'm calling from Musia. You are calling from Musia. That's great. Oh, I love that. That's from Musia. So you are watching yeah. us live from Musia. Huh? You are watching us live from Musia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live in the central Musia place. Oh, thank you, Sasa. Do you help us to share the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will. Please, I'm speaking with Steven, please. You are speaking. You are speaking with Steven. Say yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> so, so no problem, sir. Yeah, thank, yeah. thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, you know the one. Your, the one I always see with you some days ago. Yes, yes. I know you called me some days ago. I know, sir, because yeah. you are you are live. You are live. So. I have to ask you that question, sir. So, so you want yourself a book in Spanish? So yeah. I will need to send it and post it to you in, in Murcia. So maybe later you need to send me your address so that we can post it. It's a gift for you in Spanish. So it's a complete okay, actualized you, book. Back later. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So uh, the caller called from Musia. Musia is another state far from Madrid, and we all know that. So, so they. The the seat belt. Somebody said, uh, my good sister said, seat belt passes through the shoulder and above the abdomen. No, above the abdomen. No, below the abdomen, which is the pelvic. Below, below the abdomen. So don't make that error in exam. So it's below the abdomen. That color made it clear to us that the seat belt goes below the hard no abdomen, and you have to understand that the seat belt has two stripes. Many people does not have. They don't know that the belt goes like this between the neck and the and the and the, and this collar the collarbone so you pass through the shoulder here and uh, the, the the this place and cross through the chest and the lower parts on the pelvic area which we have to understand so improper way of placing the load on or you know, belt stripes on the collarbone becomes can be dangerous when you have when you incur an accident so when you didn't place it rightly, you go and place it on your neck. When accident happens, the belt might cut the neck. When you have it on top of your abdomen, when accident happens, it might get hooked your stomach and you start like vomiting and internal bleeding, which can cause damage into the, the inner part of the body, which we all know here. So another question which uh, I will explain here which um, i'm still waiting for a question please if you have question we can we can be able to post them or you call 620586 you call to ask your question you call to ask your question please if you have question if you have question if you have question can a mope drive along the shoulder in column of two at a time a mope yes yes but uh, they have to do, they have to, yeah, drive on the shoulder. No. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. It's possible because if you go and look to uh, into the hate in our book, you will see that they are very good that I can use the hard shoulder. Hard shoulder. So, hard shoulder. What can I move? Uh, the shoulder in column. Yeah. Two. Yes, they have. They can do a breast. That's what we call a breast. They can do a breast, but you should remember that they should do it just in just uh, 200 meters. Before 200 meters, they have to do the proper overtaking, and one goes before each other. So that's it. Any other question from anybody? We have five minutes to go on this program. 
any other person any other person remember that today we are able to run a topic that is called the transporting of people and load and we're able to explain what it takes for you to transport load in your vehicle and what it takes for you to transport passenger in your vehicle help us to share this video for as many that will be in need of this uh, lecture and that will educate is not only for driver's licenses it's to reorientate yourself and to change the mentality and the pattern of your driving so that you can be able to do what we call a preventive driving and economic driving because a preventive driving you're guiding against the 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 accident and economic driving has to do with you saving your fuel saving your money a caller is calling in hello good afternoon afternoon sir good afternoon sir please i have a, qu have a question sir what is the question sir please come up sir A traffic light with ba black background with an arrow. That is yeah. that is called a white stripes light. A white yeah. stripes light. It's not an arrow. It's just a line. It's a line in it. Is a white stripes light. But, 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 but no, 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 no. It's an arrow. Arrow. They wear only arrow. They put in an arrow inside. Okay. They put an arrow and it's a traffic light. Uh, what color does the arrow give you? Yeah. What color does the arrow gives you? When it's, when it's lit, it's green. Red, 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 red. Very good. You know, the reason why when it's red means that the direction where that arrow faces, when it's red means that you should stop. You should stop when you are going to... Very good. I'm explaining, sir. When the arrow show red means that that traffic light is talking to the direction which the arrow is pointing at. So when it's red, means that anybody who is going to where the arrow is pointing at should stop. When it's green, means that those going to that place where the arrow is pointing out should continue their course, continue going. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, don't be, don't be offended, please. Can I'm, not, I'm not always offended, sir. I'm not. You are asking questions. No, is I I'm doing my job, sir. Okay, sir. Do you have any other questions, sir? Okay, thank you, sir. The caller said he has an arrow with, uh, with, uh, in, a, in, a, in a traffic light. Just know that the arrow is indicating that direction that is regulating. A question says, is it when it is drivable? When is drivable? And yes, when, when the hard shoulder is drivable, sufficient to be used, well paved. Were paved because when a, an art shoulder is not transistable, drive, drivable, it shouldn't be used by anyone. It shouldn't be used. It has to be transistable wide enough to carry out those 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 vehicles. If you go to our book where we have subheading in the in the in the in, the, in our topic in subheading twenty eight, where we have vehicle that can use the hard shoulder, vehicle that can use the hard shoulder. In non subject 28 of our book, if you have, you will see it there. We have the vehicle, a special vehicle that are less than 3,500, the bicycle, the mop. So, so that's it. And you remember that uh, they are permitted to do a breast of 200 meters or 15 seconds. They have to, they are, they can, they can do that for that for that period of time. Any other question from anybody? Any other question from anybody? Did that happen? Okay. And my question again has to do with tire. When you have a low pressure, a low inflation pressure of the tire, and high inflation pressure of the tire, what part of the tire suffers stress or worn out? The caller can call in or you type it. Now you are answering two things. When you have a high pressure, like now you have a tire and you are asked to pump 20 bar inside it and you pump 40 high pressure what happens to your tire and which part of the tire will worn out if you're supposed to put 40 you are putting 15 and you are managing tire because the tire is lower what part of the tire worn out 
and what happened to the tire so you must be able to explain those two because we are using our question to call to touch at least four or five questions in a question in, in in my question so if you call in or you paste it on the on the on the screen board and you get a, a answer you win yourself a book in spanish the actualized test package in spanish uh, so we've, we've given out two today last week we are able to give out four uh this today i have 10 for the class for this lecture if you can be able to win yourself we'll get it across to you so we have two people have won now and we are still having eight more to go every saturday i'll be giving 10 10 if for the meantime if you pass a free book if you pass to do your license the book the book i'm giving out Oh, is, 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 is a book that tallies with the exam and with that book alone in Spanish you can be able to get something for yourself and uh, remember that every Saturday for people that are joining us we have class here which is every one o'clock here we're going for free and if you're interested to be a student you can call me on the same number 620586 and I'll tell you the modality I'll get the book or across to you as English book and you come online and we we, we we prepare you for exam anyhow online and we'll make you pass that's it so any other question any other question who is calling who is answering that question today we have like five minutes to go who is answering the question because we are closing down for the for the for the for the for the week so any question from anyone any question any question any question any question any question or oh, you are ready to answer my question thank you brother Arinze, for coming on board thank you sir thank you sir any question from anyone any question any question or oh, you you want to call in to ask you want to call in you want to call in you want to call in to answer a question i'm asking a question on tire the question look complicating give it a try i see someone typing give it a try give it a try give it a try if you want to try make give it a try talk about which side of the tire wants out we are educating ourselves which side of the tire wants out more please question or oh, you answer my question i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting if you're on board in the next five seconds if nobody's answering i think i should i should do the answering then are we there are we still there if you are there please thump up if you are still online thump up please if you're online thump up or give love if you're on, if you're online give thump up because i have people online and i don't know whether you're online if you're online please give thump up or give me love give me some love please if you're online if you're online please give me some thump up give me love thank you sister queen thank you thank you thank you i love that thank you thank you thank you a caller let me receive a caller hello 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 madam i think this is the voice of a woman hey it's me Diola. ah oh good afternoon sister you want well, to answer our question or you have a question for us no i want to answer your question okay give it a try if you get it uh, right i think if you get I it right you win a book is the back tires they what the back tires we run out faster the what Lower your volume. Lower the volume of your video. Okay. Uh huh. I said the back, the, the back tires. Uh, you are you are answering wrongly. We are not talking about the front or back tire. We are talking about what happens to tire when you have high pressure in the tire, inflation pressure, or you have a low pressure from the inflation pressure. Okay, so I, don't, Some, I don't have an idea of that. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. I think somebody is answering on the board, on the on the screen. Uh, I'm seeing someone coming up on the screen. Uh, let me just go back, please. Let me go back, I think. 
middle tire wear i don't know middle tire wear middle tire wear you are not giving us uh brother anise said if the pressure is high the center of the tire suffered more yes that is one answer if the pressure is high you get it right that is one 50 percent of the question uh it does not win you a book you are only giving us 50 percent of it i said it, it comes with two questions the, the the pressure when you have too much pressure the center suffered more because you turn the tire to balloon and the center of the tire is the one that is having contact to the ground so it wants more suffer more on the ground than the other part so what happened if you have the low pressure let me help you that way what happened if you have low pressure what happened if you have low pressure what happened somebody say by size by size but i took by size has nothing to do by size if the tire size has every tire that has size has different 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 pressure so 175 185 you put different pressure on it but we're talking about when you have too much pressure that the one of the manufacturer you have the center one out now but i didn't say come up with another one said and when the tire is low when you have a low pressure the sides suffer more very good thank you very much sir brother i say you want yourself a spanish book a spanish book please you can call me or text me your address on six two zero five eight six on whatsapp i will send down your book to you and i know that we are now we're having four books going for today for book going for today thank you very much brother i didn't think of coming on uh thank you sister bridget for joining us thank you for joining us thank you my engineer jayola for for joining us my special engineer thank you for joining us so we have i'm throwing the last question please for today and if you have uh, thank you for coming on board brother kelly thank you for coming on board so uh, i'm throwing the last question for today if you win the last question because our time is not on our side and if you have any question generally how to pass driver's license remember i told you don't allow someone to go and do exam for you it is not right it is not right we shouldn't be here nigeria here nigerian dead no 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 you can do it by yourself the purpose of me coming on this platform is to educate you to let you know that it is easy when you make it easy it is easy when you use the right material it is easy when you approach the right test before you go for exam don't procrastinate when you are studying when you notice a question even though you are not my student you are free to ask me question you are, i have people during the week that got my number on the facebook and you see messages even midnight they ask question i have some brothers that have not even joined me as a student but they ask but if you want us to prepare you we are available we have our own platform where we teach and we you pay less you get the book material you get study we follow up until you pass we have no expiring date to when you pass if it takes you longer months to pass we are with you we stand with you and remember every thursday now or some days we come on instagram to teach likely question and exam and every saturday one o'clock we come on facebook to explain this what topic by topic because we have almost 16 chapters which you are going to encounter in exam and we'll break them down we'll do as much as possible to help those that are and not are not busy in one way or the other and help us to share the video for the benefit of those that does not they are not our friends but they can be your friend share with your friend on the platform and let's get this done now my last question 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 i think my last question before my last question anyone with any question anybody with any question anybody with any question can you explain what is breaking distance and what is reaction distance what is breaking distance and what is reaction distance there are two different things we have reaction distance and the breaking distance i will end up my question with that today and if you're watching after this live video and you have question or you want me to contact you you can send your number we call you if you want to ask inquiry you want to make uh if you want to ask or you have a counter in exam or you want to share your experience you can comment under the video we go under the video to check things so our number is still there six two zero five eight six my question is that what is reaction time and what is breaking distance what is reaction time and what 
is breaking distance. What is reaction time and what is breaking distance? We're closing down very soon. And if you can call in to explain yourself very well, 620-586-038. Remember that we have a class online and we have a group where we follow up on WhatsApp and we teach, we teach, we prepare you until you pass with just few small money. Small money, you get the material, you get our manual, you get our test, you get our thematic test and we prepare you until you pass. A dream this year is to make sure that you get your license and you must get it. Uh, my uh, my big producer, Mr. Lee, uh, uh, Mr. Nusa, he said, reaction distance is how far your car travels in the time it takes the driver to react to an hazard and step on brake. And step on brake. Reaction distance is how far? How far? How far is measured? Let me help you to let me help you to restate it. How far is measured in meters? That is the distance you travel, the distance you travel, how far? You travel in the time you take the driver to react. Take the driver to react to an hazard. Good. I still want something. Something is still missing there. Breaking distance is the distance cover from the moment you press your feet on the brake and when the vehicle finally come to stop that's a good good one sir you got it mr no sir you got it you got it but uh that translation you are you that transition now is not getting the point look at the one that that sister be uh be, uh, be sent now uh it's more clearer and uh more i'm going to give two of you i'm going to give two of you if you can answer the second one which is the reaction time i'm going to give two of two of you on on the same pace you got it right so if you can give me the, the reaction time, two of you will win the book completely. I have the book, I have it, I have it more here. Two of you will win the book completely. I have it posted. I want to be posting it to people now. I have it here. Two of you will win. We have more books for everybody. So uh brother Lee, brother Nosa comes up with it. Breaking the stands how far you go. I know, yeah. Oh, how far, how far you, your car travel from the time the the brake are applied until it comes to complete? Very good, very good. But now you have fifty percent of the of, of the of the answer now, and you have right to answer and get the hundred, which is the reaction time. What is reaction time? Before we close, what is reaction time? Uh, thank you, Brother Clement, for coming late. Thank you for coming late. We are about closing, and we have the last question. What is reaction time? What is reaction time? I have my pastor's wife on board, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Pastor Larry. I have, the, I have her on board. Please, my post to share to people that want to have it. Last week, uh, the husband won a book, and I think I will get it across to them today. If possible, I will drop it at your doorstep, sir. Ma, today. So the Spanish book. So uh, I repeat, uh, my last the question is still, what is the reaction time? Let's see what is the reaction time. If two of you can get it clear, it means that yes, you get your book. Yes, uh, the length of time takes for a person or system to respond to the stimulus or events. <laughs> get sir, sir, give me the, the according to the have you gotten sir if you've got an exam you you've been to exam before here or you you have a license please can you thump up thump up if you've gotten license before please let me know if you've not gotten license before just say see just say no you understand me let me know but i'm talking about uh, brother liberty liberty no sir Place if you've not if you've not acquired a license, I know you you are into into media. Good into you are into media, so I know that it's at least at least you you so 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 you you I before I, before I tell you what what if you can still help me to put it right. So what is what no no good good so so this platform is helping. Is up in and I'm going to put some terminologies of traffic in your answer. You got it. You got it clear. You got it clear from your net. But uh, I want because we are trying to do as much as possible for people that will do exam for them to be able to have it clear. Reaction time. The other sister that is competing with you come up with reaction time is the time is the time good is the time that is measured in in second. 
covered from the moment you saw an hazard. Hazard, hazard, a problem. You saw an hazard before taking action to pressing of your break. Very good. Very good. I'm going to give two of you. I'm going to give two of you because two of you did so wonderfully well. So wonderfully well. So wonderfully well. So two of you, you won yourself a two book. So today we are giving out, we've given, we, 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 we are giving out four, oh, six books. Six books. Six books. So two of you at the end of today's class. On my WhatsApp, 620-586-038. Uh, Sister Biodun, I have your address already. Uh, the other people, you can write me on WhatsApp. Just send me your address and tell me you want a book and where I have to send it. If you're living in Madrid, I can drop it at your doorstep since you're living in my state. But people that are living, somebody who is living close uh, outside, outside the city, send me your address. I get it across to you. And thank you very much for coming on board today. Remember that tell somebody on the street. It is not right to do exam for you. You can do it by yourself. See, Steve said so. You can do it by yourself. It's just a matter of time. Just give it a time. When you give it your time, you will get it. Don't let them. Somebody who have license does not discourage those who does not have license. The Nigerians on the streets discourage a lot of people. That was why the 10 years ago, a lot of people that have the opportunity to encourage to have this license discourage a lot of people if your husband in the house or your wife in the house is discouraging you to have license tell her you will enter train and bus till jesus comes so it is right time for you this is the moment this is the moment i know people that has lost their residence and today they still mount with license to be able to identify them you understand me? we are not here to like uh bring anybody down but i'm telling you Tell your husband, it's time for them to have license. Tell your wife, it's time for them to have license. And we are making it real. We are making it easy on the platform of Facebook, free of charge. But if you feel that you are convenient, you are comfortable to join us on our platform in our school online, you can call me on 620-586. You come our school and we follow you until you pass your your license remember the license is important don't my practice with them don't join those people that join my practice you lose your resident you use your lesson if you suffer for your resident or you suffer to get your spanish p or european p you will not pay someone to go and do it what i'm doing here is to encourage you i'm giving it out free of charge i'm going to have free of charge but if you feel to come to our school to be a part of our student you can call me on 620-586 if after this live video you see any question you want to ask you can drop it on there thank you very much thank you brother dotun from nigeria for joining us thank you my flat my lovely brother thank you everyone that has made it a day on the saturday next week saturday we're going to be live again on one o'clock tell people share this video tell them about it that we are here to help you if you don't have money you don't have time to join us in school you can join us on this platform get you can also get your material you can we can help you to get material if you don't want to join our school or maybe you say say our school is this is that you can tell us we get material look the secret of passing is this if you don't use mass right material you suffer so much many people goes to some school and they use what we call a google translation in english that is why when they go to exam, the question look this different to them. But when you use a, uh, a material that tallies to the kind of English you get in the exam, it is more easier. And I'm available to explain to the deepest way. I came from Nigeria and I understand the rudiment of teaching a Nigerian person. So I'm going to make it so clear to you and I'm going to teach you until you get it. And I'm going to, and we are making it like a baby, teaching like a baby, like somebody who does not even know how to, what steering or tire is all about. So if you've been on our platform where we teach, we, we follow up every day on our platform, you will you witness. Many students are online and they, they know what we are talking about. So you can call us if you're interested and please, and please don't play with your residents. Don't let them use your resident to go and do exam for you. They will cash you. They are after you. Most especially, they are after foreigners. There's no story you can give to them in exam when you are caught. Because the person goes there and it, was, it came out easily. He thought he's an actor. Let me tell you today. Before you go second time, they are after you. And you don't know who is watching you. You don't know who is watching you. Many people, they've lost their license. They've lost their residence. 
now don't join those group of people i always tell you if you know you are not ready don't use money to go and cause problem the tiger in spain is sleeping waiting looking but when you go and wait the tiger or you call yourself daniel you jump into the den of the lion means that you call the police to come for you you can do it you can do it it's just to give time whatever you struggle for last in your hand struggle for it i'm encouraging you with my teaching that you can do it and my project this year is operation make license easy for everyone even though i won't want people to say it's because i don't have money because you don't have money that's why we come on this platform to assist so or because your job schedule does not give you room to come to where we teach we have online class and you can have it in spanish you can have it in english thank you for joining us on this platform today you can call us on 620-586 thank you so much for those that have been putting my picture my my number thank you so much mr becky Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Satina. Thank you so much for all of you people that see today. Thank you, Sister Bridget. Thank you, Brad Douglas. Please, you can be typing. Just, just say hi so that I will be able to appreciate you. Thank you, Sister. Thank you, Sister Diola. Thank you, Brad Douglas. Thank you, Sister Itoha, my pretty sister. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you, Brad Douglas. Thank you, Sister Bridget, for coming on board. Thank you, Brian Maker, my special professional driver. Thank you from Sweden. Thank you. He's once in Spain. And today, now, you get cross carpet all the whole country in the whole world with his license professionally. Professionally. Thank you, Brad, uh, Sister Becky. Thank you so much for having you on board. Next week, Saturday, I'm going to have you. Thank you, Brad Kelvin. Thank you, Brad Kelvin. Thank you for having you on board. I really appreciate everyone so much. Thank you for those that can. Thank you, Brad James Bright. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you for my people from Musia. Thank you for my people from Girona. Thank you for those people in Germany. Thank you for those people from Norway. I really appreciate you. I have students all over the world here on this platform, and I really appreciate you for having you on board thank you for a claimant thank you sister favor thank you for watching me thank you for believing in me thank you for trusting me thank you for believing in our project god bless you as i come your way again thank you i love everyone and i will always be there to make it real it is possible you can have the license if only you give time for it thank you so much We'll see you again.